Okay. This is uh, something that I'm going to try and do every Friday or at the end of every week um, as sort of a video diary on what I've managed to do that week um, and how the project's going, how I'm feeling about the project, maybe how I'm feeling generally. Um, yeah, I just thought it would be a good way to have a sort of weekly roundup and a way of um, sort of, yeah, just like debriefing on the week so you don't just go into the next week. Um, just randomly doing stuff without sort of having recapped or thought about what uh, you were doing in the last week. So yeah, um, it is Friday the uh, 8th of October, September even, and I started yesterday on Thursday the 7th um, for a half day. And it's actually feeling really good. I don't feel like some sort of lost artist looking for stuff to do it actually it feels like um it feels like carpentry it feels like work in a way which is really cool um but with with time and with a little more like creative flair like i i, I, I look at stuff like the colors of stuff and how and like unique accidents as opposed to looking for stuff that um or as opposed to trying to make stuff that looks exactly like how I imagined it. Um, which feels really cool, it feels amazing to have that time to um, just like follow your nose a bit, basically. Uh, so yesterday I, um, I did some organising bits, just prep myself for the project really. Got a sketchbook. Ta da! Um, and sent some emails. I got in contact with Tony Moore, the professor at Sussex Uni, who um, has already emailed me back and said that he would uh, like to have a, or would be happy to have a chat at Sussex Uni, which is great. So I'm trying to organise that for next week. Uh, I emailed Forest and Found, still no reply from them. Uh, emailed them sort of about mentoring the project and for Max to help me learn returning. Uh, I also emailed someone else who I've now forgotten to do the project, but that is okay. Yeah, uh, printed out some calendars, stuff like that, like stuff to just, just to get set. And then today, I have been in the workshop um, doing some experiments with ebonizing solutions, uh, mixing my own with vinegar and wire wool with sort of a couple of different combinations um, of different vinegars and different wools and an old mix that I made from a while ago. And then I have cut uh, inch and a half by inch and a half squares of uh, three mil, six mil and 12 mil ash. Um, and in each of those I've done a, a sawn option, so like a rough surface and a planed option, it's a smooth surface. And uh, I've put them in Tupperwares up the back over there. And um, yeah, I'm going to go and check in them uh, at, um, uh, at when I come back from the weekend. I've also been catching uh, on this has been a really satisfying thing to do actually i've um i've been i printed out all of the photos of stuff that i've sort of been thinking about or ash trees that i've seen or collected um and it's stuck them in a sketchbook and it's like wow i've actually done quite a lot of work even before the project even started like it's cool to see how oh, my brain was actually working oh yesterday i also planted um, some ash seeds that I collected on a walk with my mum on Wednesday at Cumbie Haven. But yeah, it's cool to just sort of see bits that I've already done. You know, it's like already turning into a bit of a sketchbook, which is great. And it makes me feel positive uh, that I don't feel really lost straight off the bat. Um, 
also had a look at these samples today. With other stuff, I might just like cut in images while I'm talking to this video to remind myself visually of what I've been doing. But also recollected these samples that um, I had here soaking in ebonizing solution for ages. This one has been waxed and has turned much, 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 much darker than it was before it was waxed, which is good to know because that is a really solid black color that I didn't expect to get. Um, seeing as that is the unwaxed option. Um, and they looked fairly similar beforehand. And so it's nice that you can get it that, that dark. Um, I also spent quite a lot of time just looking at how nice the color tones in that are. And I wanted to think about maybe making some uh, like long grain ash cups and, and sitting them in there. Because basically what I was trying to do here is uh, to dip it in the ebonizing solution. And so the xylem and phloem, I believe that's what they're called, suck the ebonizing solution up. Like if you dipped a, it dipped a rope in the water, it would suck the water up, I think osmosis. Um, and so that is kind of what I've done. You can see here that that is the line where the ebonizing solution uh, was. And then all of this is just it being drawn up the wood. And you get this sort of natural grade of where the ebonizing solution uh, finishes, which is just like a nice way of, of finishing a pattern without having to make any like decisions really. It's just like the wood doing it, which is always nice, one of those things. Um, and I, I'm just loving the colors in these. And I think some end grain ash cups or bowls that you sit and soak in ebonizing solution and then it creeps up the sides of the cup or the bowl or just vessels um, would be really cool. And so we'd like to experiment with that next week and um, check on those bits next week um, and see if they've soaked in enough to the grain. And they probably haven't um, to be able to uh, like inlay them into the top of another piece of ash and then plane them back and they're still black. I doubt I'll get that, but if I do, amazing. Um, check on them next week, maybe turn some ash cups next week, maybe do more of these stick things next week, like imagining the bottom of chair legs would be cool. Um, maybe go on a nice walk next week, uh, collect some more ash seeds and plant them hopefully see Tony more, um, yeah, and maybe reply to Craig about a job at uni, that's a separate point, but exciting. Uh, okay, cool, all right, see you next week.